I just got home from watching Spider-Man No Way Home, and there are some things I want to talk about. Don't want to be spoiled. Now is the time to go away. Are they gone? Okay, let's begin. The conversation around this movie was kind of annoying, honestly. Spider-Man No Way Home was hyped to oblivion. There was so many leaks, so much speculation. I wasn't sure how this movie could possibly live up to the hype, but somehow it did. Spider-Man No Way Home is great. It's really, really good. John Watts outdid himself, my god. It's amazing considering all the villains and multiverse shenanigans. This movie could have been a mess and it wasn't. Let's talk about why this movie worked. The multiverse is not that important, honestly. The villains, none of them had any major arcs and Doctor Strange was sidelined for most of this movie. None of that really matters in this film. This movie works because at its core, it's a film about Peter Parker and his coming to terms with what it means to be Spider-Man. It's a sad realization in some ways. Being Spider-Man means you have to sacrifice. Being Spider-Man is lonely. You can't always be with the ones you love because you're putting them in constant danger. No matter what universe you're from, being Spider-Man comes with loss, and that can break you if you allow it. The lessons from the ones he has lost makes him stronger and a better hero. That's what the movie is about. The story is dictated by Peter Parker and his decisions. The choices he makes has ramifications. For example, Spider-Man makes the decision to ignore Doctor Strange's warnings. Instead of sending all the villains back to where they came from immediately, he decides to help them in order to prevent their deaths. This leads to his Aunt May being killed by the Green Goblin. Very, very sad. It all comes back to his agency. This is how you keep a movie from being a complete mess. So that's why the movie works. What made the movie special was the inclusion of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. Again, at its core, this is a Peter Parker film. And having the Peter Parkers from the previous Spider-Man films come in and drop wisdom was so great. Seeing how their journeys parallel each other and reflecting on the lessons learned did a lot for the MCU's Peter Parker, especially when dealing with the death of his Aunt May. Aunt May gives him the iconic with great power comes great responsibility line as she's dying. Learning that the other Peter Parkers were also familiar with these words of wisdom gave him the sense that he was meant to hear that line from Aunt May and his decision, although it led to her death, wasn't the wrong one. He was meant to help these villains and she would want him to help. The movie is a love letter to Peter Parker's character, truly. Okay, now here's the question. Is the Sam Raimi trilogy and Mark Webb films required viewing? Do you have to watch those films? No, you don't have to watch those films, but I'm not gonna lie. If you've seen them, you will have a better cinematic experience. There are a lot of callbacks to those films and the movie becomes special if you're aware of them, especially when it comes to the emotional beats with Toby and Andrew. That being said, this is the most emotion and pain Tom Holland's Peter Parker goes through in the MCU and the movie makes sure to keep him at the center. So you'll be invested in his emotional journey. The conflict ends when he makes the decision to have everyone forget about him. This ends all his personal relationships and kind of gives the character a clean slate. It's a sacrifice he makes at the end for the sake of his loved ones and everyone around him. Nobody remembers who Peter Parker is and in his mind, it's for the best. This is a great Peter Parker film. So in conclusion, this movie has great action, a better looking Electro, Willem Dafoe being scary. There's a lot of cool stuff happening in this film, but it keeps Peter Parker at the center and that is crucial. Nothing detracts from his decisions. His mistakes, his pain, his resolve are on full display and that is the backbone of the film and that is why the movie works. Credit to John Watts and the creatives over at Marvel Studios. Okay guys, that's it for this video. What are your thoughts on Spider-Man No Way Home? Like and subscribe. See you next time.